up my beautiful people, how is everybody doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Dan and today I'm gonna review another niacinamide serum and so far this is actually the best I've ever tried, so uh, this is a good one. Before I start though, please consider following me on Instagram, on Facebook, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, videos related to skincare, nutrition, supplements and uh, maybe some more videos. So, uh, this is the Geek and Gorgeous, Geek and Gorgeous. Geek and Gorgeous B Bomb 10% uh, Niacinamide Serum. And by the way, Geek and Gorgeous is a brand that I'm I'm freaking falling in love at the moment. They have some really amazing products for very affordable prices. I think they are based in Hun Hun Hungary. Hungary. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> uh, but this is their Niacinamide Serum. This has 10% Niacinamide, and you guys probably already know how much I love Niacinamide. It's probably my second favorite ingredient after uh, retinoic acid because uh, it just offers such a variety of benefits it just triggers so many not triggers targets so many uh, skin problems it's gonna help with acne it's gonna help with uh, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation it's gonna um, offer you a great soothing effect it's gonna repair your skin barrier such such a wide it's gonna help with redness of course such an amazing ingredient and this one has 10% of it and well all the studies that I've read I've actually never seen a study where they would use more than 5% niacinamide however it seems like 10% is still pretty beneficial and for a lot of people, a lot of people have uh, great results with 10% niacinamide and if you feel like it uh, it hurts your skin, if you feel like it's irritating for you, maybe you should try a product that has less than 5% niacinamide, even even 3% or 2% is still gonna offer you great great results so you should, you should give it a shot, niacinamide is just so amazing. Okay, I'm gonna start with the packaging and um, another dropper bottle, I mean, I'm kind of tired of this. Uh, actually, let me know in the comments below, is there a niacinamide serum that does not come in a in a dropper bottle? It's not a huge problem, but it's just so, I don't know, you have to open it like this way every time, you have to make sure you don't touch uh, your skin, I mean, your face with this, because it's gonna contaminate the, whatever, the product is just, a pump bottle is so much more convenient, I, I don't know. I like that they are using a dark bottle, so it's gonna protect the ingredients inside, like the ordinary one. But still, we don't have any antioxidants here, and niacinamide is, is a pretty stable ingredient, so it's not, it's not gonna degrade, degrade when, it, when exposed to sunlight. Uh, but still, I mean, just dark, dark bottles are, are much better. So yeah, packaging is okay, it's just, I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of dropper bottles. Now, when it comes to texture, this is where this product really shine, shines in comparison to others. It's just, um, it's still not, not watery, it's a pretty like serum-y consistency, but it just, it just becomes so liquidy and so it just has this slip, it, it offers a very luxurious experience I would say it's so much more superior to the ordinary one and and even the the Revox I, I'm actually gonna compare the B bomb to these two this is the Revox and the the ordinary probably towards the end of the video but it disappears into your skin and it has this very moisturizing feeling it softens your skin also it doesn't leave a sticky finish or a tacky finish but it does not like disappear into your skin. I mean, you can, I can still feel it on my hand. It kind of like, it leaves the same finish as the uh, Geek and Gorgeous toner. I reviewed this one in a previous video, you can check it out. I'm gonna probably link it down below if, I'm, if I don't forget. <laughs> but I get the same softness after using this one. And I really, really like it. It just feels so hydrating. Great texture, no complaints there. This is fragrance free, it is alcohol free, all, all of their products, all the Geek and Gorgeous products are fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and I freaking love that. And um, yeah, a price, price-wise, this is around $10, I think, so it's a little bit pricier than the other two. But I mean, if you're a texture person, if you don't really like the finish of the, the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum, 
this is a great one. You just pay like three more bucks for a more um, luxurious experience when it comes to texture and finish. Now when it comes to the ingredient list, it has a very, very simple ingredient list. Uh, nothing fancy, you just have uh, water, then we have the starting ingredient, which is niacinamide, then we have butylene glycol, which is the great humectant and penetration enhancer, glycerif 26, and there is, this is a great humectant, and this is probably the ingredient that offers that very luxurious slip to the product. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Um, then we have uh, Zinc PCA, which is a great addition to the serum. It's gonna um, help a little bit more with acne, with oil production. Pr production. Uh, and then we have actually a very interesting ingredient, which is sarcosine. I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, there, there are some little studies showing this ingredient helps again with uh, oiliness, oil production. It's kind of like an addition to the Zinc PCA. It's not a game changer ingredient. It's just, uh, it's just a bonus ingredient. And like, why not? If it's gonna help with oiliness and acne, why not? <laughs> uh, then we have propan propanidial very good humectant. Uh, it's also gonna act like because like not. What's going on? As a penetration penetration enhancer, <laughs> and we have some emulsifiers, some um, thickening ingredients, and preservatives. And that's basically very very simple ingredient list. This one is fungal acne safe, and I love that. You guys know I'm struggling with fungal acne, so this is a great um, great product for me. Now, if I had to compare these three products and maybe rank them. I would say uh, The Ordinary is probably on the third place. It is a great product, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a great product, and they were the first that introduced a 10% niacinamide serum. I mean, it's it's a good product, it's just, I'm not a fan of the of the texture, the finish. Sometimes it may, it may not play well with other products, it may give you some peeling. And uh, also it has that, uh, what's the name of it, isocetet, isocetet. 20 ingredient which is pretty comedogenic and may give acne to some people so may break out some people then uh, on the second place we have the Revox one actually I don't know is this on the second place <laughs> I mean this has a much better texture than the ordinary one it is not sticky it is not tacky well however there were moments where I over applied the product I, I applied like too much serum and it was a little bit sticky, and sometimes, some days, I would notice a little bit of shine with this one. It's In terms of texture and finish, this is definitely on the second place. However, this is, um, I think, five or six dollars. It's even cheaper than the ordinary one. It's four euros on some websites, which is crazy. <laughs> also, I can find this here in my country in a store. And that just makes it so much more accessible for me. I can just go and buy it. And it's also cheaper than the Geek and Gorgeous one. And that is why I don't know if this should be on the second place or on the first, because when it comes to texture and ingredients, this is on the second place. But when it comes to price and accessibility, accessibility, English, come through. This is definitely on the first place. So that makes it kind of harder for me. Uh, but when it comes to the first place, like I said, this has a great, great texture. It's much more watery than the other two. Uh, simple ingredient list. All of these actually have a simple ingredient list, but the ordinary one has that comedogenic ingredient in there. And actually, I don't know how comedogenic that is, because probably it depends on how much they put in there, but it is there, so... I don't know. Overall, this is the best niacinamide serum I've used so far. Uh, well, I didn't try that many, so I, I want to. I really want to try the Paula's Choice one because I've heard great things about that one. But that one is like forty or fifty dollars, which for me that's just crazy. It's so expensive for me, and I don't know. I just I watched some reviews, and it seems like that one is much more watery. It just sinks into your skin instantly. And also has a much more impressive ingredient list. It has licorice, which is great for redness and pigmentation. Uh, so that's probably the best and I think my serum, but when it comes to price, that's so, so expensive. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this review comparison. 
Actually, I want to try the Inkyo list also. Uh, if you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite niacinamide serum, what other serums you tried. That's it for today. Love you all. See you all in my next video.